hi Aries welcome back to your channel it is going to be your no contact this is going to be your no contact okay so my darlings if you are here for your first time welcome and if you're returning to the channel welcome back you know you're a diamond shine bright and beautiful like the diamond that you know that you are okay all right so let's head into a pray for the ones that are new here we do pray and if you are returning to my channel I love you guys so, so much. Let's adjust this thing a little bit. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I see the love, you guys, and believe me, the love is not going on unnoticed. Or let's just say it's not going unappreciated. I appreciate every single last one of you guys. All right, let's get into a prayer, you guys. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, so giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so uh, Aries, for your no contact, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal reading. It may or it may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. You can pick up your personal energy, past, put on a future person. Um, place your person where you need to place them. Place your, your uh, placements where you need to place them. Cross watches do the same as well. Now also, I do have personal reading on the channel that is available for everyone. Um, if you do need to make an appointment, all you have to do is check in the description of the video and you see how to connect with me for personal reading. Also, I do have a special that is going on right now. If you have three appointments with me for this month, you will get the fourth reading absolutely free. And that will be a 30-minute read, you guys. And also, if I have already done a read with you and you refer a friend, you will get a free bracelet in the mail a protection bracelet in the mail from me all for free okay so go ahead and get your appointment so you could be getting your fourth read for free you guys all right okay so let's get into this angel here um this is your no contact read what is the angel here please this angel will help me to get through your read and this angel is for you to keep for your no contact energy all right, so what is the angel here and your number placement in line for Aries at this time? What is the angel here, please? All right, so we have the angel of remembrance, okay? The angel of remembrance will be the 28th angel in line, okay? So thank you, angel of remembrance, for coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries, we appreciate you. All right. Let's see what the angels have to say here. And again, take what's yours. What didn't resonate, send it back to the universe where it came from. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. Angels. Let's get to work, angels. What's the message here? Angels of remembrance. Angels of Remembrance. I hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday. Okay. Angels of Remembrance. What is the message at this time? What is it that you need me to share with Aries at this time? Angels of Remembrance. Angels of Remembrance. What's the message here? For the no contact energy, please. So I'm getting a toxic situation here. Now, what is this toxic, please? Angels of Remembrance. Angels of Remembrance. Let's see. Okay. So some of you guys is dealing with a toxic um, relationship is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing this toxic relationship feels more like a pattern. Uh, maybe you guys have been in separation once or twice before. Um, this um, no contact is giving me that this person um, may feel very unhealthy for you at this time. 
Or if this is not them, then this is exactly how they're feeling. Like maybe you're very unhealthy for them. The roles could be reversed as well. Um, but there's a divine timing that is really coming through. And this divine timing is at play. Um, I'm hearing the angels are really, really working over time here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Everything will work when uni the universe sees it fit. So if you are forcing a situation to evolve the way that you want it to evolve at this moment, then it is not going to happen sooner or later. You're just going to just release that feeling of pressure that you have to have things resonate the way that you see it resonating to your person and you could either make amends or fix things or evaluate the situation or be connected. You're going to have to have divine time in, at play here. Um, that is the only way. Everything will work when the time or the universe sees fit. If the universe feels like you're dealing with something very toxic here, then it is not going to happen, okay? Um, if you force force things to happen sooner or later, then I'm going. To, I'm hearing um, trauma, okay? Because someone has trust issues at this point. Trust issues is affecting the connection with this relationship. Tell me more. What's the no contact, please? What is the no contact at this time for Aries, please? What is the no contact? At this time. So what I am seeing for some of you, it, it really feels like, you know, your person and yourself may be connected to a committed relationship. Um, I'm hearing marriage or long term. Okay. Uh, for some of you, if this is not you that you're connected with, this marriage or long term, then it's definitely with someone else. But there's a feeling of the entire situation here that is connected some way, shape, or form to a long term. Now, I'm also hearing, though, someone is missing or longing or needing or wanting someone here. All right? This is what I'm feeling. Clarify this feeling, please. Clarify my intuition here for the no contact. So Aries at this time, please clarify this feeling here, emotion here, for the no contact at this time. seeking you will discover the truth about this situation so all right so there's something that's hiding in the dark here i'm hearing there's something that is causing your separation to be in effect for some of you this is why you guys are not able to connect someone needs to either speak their truth say their truth just have their show track to take over but someone needs more time or something someone either feels unfulfilled here but this person is still watching you even though you may be in separation with your no contact at this moment, this person is still watching. Someone is still keeping an eye here. Um, someone is seeking the truth. The truth, truth needs to come out. But Angel is saying that you're going to find something out really soon because the divine timing is working on that truth. Tell me more. Oh, okay. So that's a confirmation. <laughs> that's a solid confirmation. So this person is definitely engaging into secret sexual escapade is what I'm seeing. Okay. That's what's going on here. This is the truth here. This is the truth. Secret. There's a damn secret that's coming in here. Secret escapade. Okay. Secret escapades. That's what's happening. It came through, you guys. Truth seeking. You will you will discover the truth about the situation. The situation is saying this person is engaging into secret sexual escapades here. Angels of remembrance. What is the message here, please? What's the message? What's the message at this time? Okay, so they're feeling rather embarrassed, okay? Feeling ashamed and embarrassed about 
the past behavior. Angels of remembrance, you guys. This is the angel that came through. See that? The angels of remembrance. This was your angel. The angel of remembrance is saying this person is embarrassed about the past behavior. And they're remembering about the past behavior. And this is this whole entire situation. And third party. A third party interfering with your relationship. Third party connections. That's it. That's it. Let's clarify and see what's really going on here with your no contact. We already uh, we already know what's happening here. Let's see if there's a if, if there's a shift here. Um, is what I need to know. I'm tapping into your person's energy for the no contact here and see where their mindset is with the entire situation at hand. All right, angels, clarify, please. Tap it into the energy. Tap it into the no contact energy here. There is any person. What is it that I need to share at this time? What is it that I need to share at this time, please? For the no contact energy, please, at this time. What's the message? What is it that I need to share at this time? What is the message at this time, please? Tap it into the energy of your person. What is the no contact here? What is it that you need to say? What is it that I need to share? All right, so we have the world here. Hmm. So this person really sees you as the world, okay? They see you as the one here. We have the world here. We have the queen of swords. Um, hmm. And then we have the three of wands here and the devil. So there's something very toxic here that's coming through. Very toxic here. I'm hearing temptation here. There's definitely a third party situation that is going on here. This person also um, may be addicted to have a sexual addiction. Sexual escapade. Okay, so there's a sexual addiction that's coming in. It could be something that's attached to um, them doing drugs or whatever it is that's coming to as an addiction. This person may be drinking or doing whatever it is. Um, with the three, of, the three of Wands here too. There's a decision that needs to be made here because there's a, it's a feeling of being disappointed because of a choice um, that was made here. Um, but I feel like you're about to move on. You're about to move on because we have the Queen of Swords here as well. Okay, You're either feeling like there was no commitment here or you, there's just no communication. Um, I do feel like at this point you may just want to go ahead and fix what you can and leave the damn rest. Okay. Just fix what you can and leave the rest. That's what I'm seeing here. You had your tower moment. You suffered that. You're looking for clarity. You're moving forward. You're ending certain things. You're not about to be disrespected. This is what I'm seeing. What is the Queen of Swords, please? What's the Queen of Swords? The Queen of Swords is the Fool here. And the Five of Wands. So you're ending conflicts, okay? Because it's already it's causing too many of situations to fall apart you're ending the conflicts you're moving forward you're putting an end to craziness here right you're walking away from from madness you're moving with caution for sure because you don't want to make the same mistake twice for some of you many times someone is still trying to figure out what they want and still suffering a tower moment here because the decision has not been made not been set in stone why am i feeling like somebody just going back and forth here yeah, the tower, the, the tower and the seven of the seven of cups. Someone either feels like something better is out there, but this person is dealing with trickery, the king of cups in the reverse. And somebody's either feeling stuck because they're not able to make a decision to have to free someone on a mental level. Someone is still either confused or conflicted or drained or whatever they're, that they're going through mentally and emotionally. For some of you, this may be affecting your finances here. Okay. Judgment. The six of cups. The six of pentacles. Okay. So you've definitely given a lot to the situation here. You've given all that you can. You've manifested into everything already as is. Um, you know, judgment is going to take care of what you can't. For some of you, are not able to say no to this person. Taking a lot of your energy and having your entire world turn upside down here and having you falling apart. This person is coming back because you're shame and sorry is what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm hearing an apology here and it's needed. Okay. 
So whether you're deciding to go back or forth, whatever this is, an apology is needed here, big time, because of what was done. The person is more kind of happy-go-lucky, and they take things not as serious as you do. All right, you want a commitment with this person, but this person is not ready. They're not ready. Okay, um, I do feel like this. They may be intimidated by you, though. The page of swords in the reverse. Yeah, they may be intimidated by you, and this is why they act how they act, and this is why they keep stay watching you. They stay watching you. What is the five of wands? What is the five of wands, please? What's the five of wands? The four of cups in the reverse. So there's a choice that's been made here or a decision that is coming through because someone is tired of, of having this person half-ass short of whatever they're coming in towards you with, okay? Someone is really tired here. Um, very emotional, very drained. Um, someone is either healing from devastation and hurt and pain here and anxiety. For some of you, the nine, the nine of swords in the reverse. But this person is determined to come in, though, um, for a second chance. But I feel like they're hiding something. Why not? Yeah, they're hiding something. This this nine of cups here, they're hiding something. They're not going to tell you all the truth that you deserve. For some of you, if this person would really tell the whole, the whole truth, the entire truth, you just might be able to give another chance because... You're still hurting. You're still hurting from whatever it is that that, that might have happened. With this no contact. You're still someone is still hurting here. But someone is still yet to release what's causing the problem. The four pentacles here. Okay. Very stubborn here. Someone really wants to make this work for sure. Okay? But the communication has to change. Things have to change. In order for, for you guys to have your relationship work, the communication again. But someone is just being a damn manipulator here and just showing you narcissist energy. And this is why you're having a hard time walking away from this, this uh, eight of swords, feeling very stuck and, and, and trapped in lies and betrayal and, 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 and conflicts and all kinds of stuff. Okay, That's on period. But somebody's moving forward to happiness here. Something is going to change is what I'm seeing. There's, there's something that is coming in here towards you guys. Um, I'm hearing... I'm hearing an opportunity here for something massive. Something huge here. It's coming because you've been really struggling. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, you're really tired and overwhelmed and overburdened. Okay, the Ten of Wands. But you're not about to go back and forth like others. Juggling the energy and not making the decision into what your happiness is. The Empress did show in the reverse. For some of you guys, you know, your situation needs to change because you're not feeling very stable at this point. You're not feeling very logical. You're not feeling very happy. You're feeling overwhelmed. You feel like your entire world is kind of pulled from beneath you. And now it's time to make a decision or make a choice. A choice is so critical at this point. At this point, okay, based on what I'm seeing here for your no contact, the choice that is needed is crazy critical. Let's see why. Why is this choice critical here? Why is this choice critical? What is it that I need to share here? Why is this choice critical? Here, fighter's choice. Okay, so the choice is given me. Um, I need more love. Someone feels are uh, very unfulfilled. Okay, so this is why a choice is needed. Emotional or physical needs are unmet. So this is one of your choices. Why you have to have a choice and set it in stone here. Now, angels is also telling me here. Um, you've either been abused here. It could have been a verbal abuse, a physical or emotional abuse, or whatever kind of abuse it is, okay? But I'm hearing emotional or physical abuse here. Somebody either tried to shut you up or didn't want you to have to have you talk your peace or have you under restraint. OK. 
Okay, so that's the choice right here. Fear of loss. Fear of loss keeps you from loving. Okay, the truth is fear of loss is keeping you from loving the way that you need to be loved. We have one more card here. Safety first. Use caution. They are promiscuous. Angel is saying that's another way. You need to either, if you haven't um, protected anything with this person at this time, this is the perfect time right here to be sure that you're protecting yourself because this person is having intercourse with other people at this point, okay? They're promiscuous. They're doing other things. They're very unsure. They're with third-party situations. So I know that there's love here because I've already seen that there's love here for some of you guys still. And this person does have love for you still anyway, but the love that they're showing is not enough to get rid of and put a block on this third party situation, okay? Until they're in the free and clear that you have to make a choice here because your health is in danger here, okay? Be sure that you're covering up if you do intend to move forward and still have encounters with this person, all right? All right, so that is your no contact um, for today. Um, I hope that it did resonate. I'm going to jump right into your 24 and your bonus after this, okay? So don't forget to thumbs up the reads on your way out. And if you do need to have a prayer request, feel free to text me or email me from the number that you will see and the email that you will see in the description of the video. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first. You always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your next 24 hours, okay? All right, so if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back. You know you're a diamond shine bright like a diamond. All right, so we're going to get into a prayer, okay, because we do pray here on the channel. I'm also going to get an angel here. The angel that I get in will assist me with your reading today. And this angel is an angel that you keep for yourself. It is Sunday, you guys. So happy, blessed Sunday. Let me get the angel back here. All right, let's get into a prayer, you guys. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your guidance for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So, Aries, for your next 24, um, this is a general reading and it's not a personal one. So, it may or it may not resonate with you. Please take from the reading what does resonate with you for this next 24 hours and leave the absolute rest. It could pull in your situation, whether it's a past one, a present one, or a future one. Um, place the situation where you need to place it. Place your placements where you need to place it. Cross watches, do the absolute same. And if you do need to have a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys in the description part of this video. Now, I do have um, a special that is going on right now for personal reading. Um, if you have three reads, you guys, um, with me for this month until the end of this month, it ends the end of this month. But if you have three reads with me for this month, you will receive a 30-minute read totally, absolutely free. Okay? Um, also, um, if you are referring a friend, that is only if you have had a reading with me. But if you have re referring a friend, that you will also receive a free bracelet in the mail. It's a protection bracelet, um, similar to the one that I'm wearing here. This is a pack, a set of four, uh, but I did separate them. They come in different colors. You'll definitely get uh, a set such as this one, okay? All right, so... Go ahead and make your appointments for your personal reading, my darling. All right, let's get you an angel here. And again, this angel is for me to keep. And this angel is the one that will assist me with your read today. So we have the angel of positivity. The angel of positivity will be the 25th angel in line. Okay. So thank you, angels of positivity, for coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries. We appreciate you. All right, so let's see what's coming true for the next 24 hours. What is it that you need to know at this time? I'll pull two cards from this deck. 
two cards from the truth is deck and then we'll use the tarot and clarify some things using my intuition as well and give you some advice at the end all right let's see what's the message here please for the next 24 hours what is the message for the next 24 please what's the message for the next 24 please what's the next 24 please what is the next 24 what's the next 24 What's the next 24, please? Okay. Angel wanted me to give you more than just that. So we will do what they say. Okay. All right. Angels of positivity. Angels of positivity is having me feel... Like there's some kind of emotional storm that someone is dealing with at this moment, okay? I'm also feeling uh, someone is either chasing or doing random things here that doesn't serve the energy. Um, this person might even be withdrawn. This could be you or this could be them. But I also feel like there's some kind of a distraction that is also coming through. Now, because one is dealing with somewhat of a turmoil right now, and it's really affecting the other. I'm hearing, um, oh yeah, a very strong turmoil. Um, it's it's a feel. Oh, excuse me, it's a feeling of being very unstable here. Let me get some sage, y'all. It's a feeling of being very unstable for some of you, um, or just simply just being affected by the negative or by the negativity. Okay, um, it is really having someone seeking something that doesn't need. A, to be a part of the energy at this present moment, okay? Someone is either under pursuit of toxicity, which is very unhealthy, a very unhealthy cycle, a very unhealthy journey. This is what I'm hearing. Um, and this person is really being very resilient, okay? Or withdrawn for some of you. Um, they might have been shown withdrawn. Uh, they might have been, been withdrawn towards you, um, maybe suddenly. Never saw that coming. Um, this person may have even told you that they prefer to be single or they want some time just to think things through. Um, maybe this person has shown sign, even though you guys may have been together, but they might have been shown sign of lonesomeness or this could be you or somebody's just dealing with a feeling of solitary here. Okay. Now I'm also, you know, feeling though, and, and, and again, the roles could be reversed, you guys. But this distraction or someone being distracted is coming through as change, you guys, or delays, or even, even a feeling of um, someone being sidetracked by um, a decision that was made here, or a choice, or, or just being an energy of not pulling positivity in. And because the energy is not pulling in the positivity, it's weighing down on somebody else. It's weighing down on both parties involved, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more messages here. All right, Angel, what's the message here? Please clarify the emotional storm here. This chasing energy being withdrawn here and uh, distracted. What is this distraction here, please? What is the distraction that's coming towards the next 24 hours? What's the next 24 hours, please? What is the next 24? What's the next 24, please? Angels of positivity. What's the next 24? What's the next 24? Okay, so someone is either settling here. The next 24 is having me feel like someone is settling or shouldn't be accepting less than you, you deserve. Someone is accepting a situation for what they should not. Ugh. Because somebody's choosing to be single here. I'm seeing like some, for some of you guys, this person might have even went on a vacation alone and joined the single life. I already picked that up here. Withdrawn, single, lonely, and solitary. And it also came through in the second deck. Single. Enjoying the single life. This could be some of you, oh, roles could be reversed here. 
But somebody's missing someone here. Someone is missing someone longing to be with this person again. So even though someone seems to be moving on or doing whatever the hell that they're doing, someone is still missing this person because someone sees the future here with this person. Becoming clear about your vision of the future. Someone is still reminiscing here. There's a feeling of reminiscing, you guys. Someone is reminiscing about um, maybe it's still trying to have things work here. What is this? Please clarify, please. Please clarify. Clarify thoughts and emotions, please. Next 24. Clarify thoughts and emotions, please. Clarify the thoughts and emotions, please. The next 24. What's the next 24? Wow. Hurt and bitterness over unfair treatment, resentment. So for some of you guys, you could be showing resentment towards this person because of what they might have done or because of how you felt that they might have treated you. You're just thinking about moving on. You you know, you're ready to just move forward here or this could be them. Okay? Because someone is feeling like there's a need for this. But there could be children involved for some of you. I'm hearing pregnancy maybe. Children are involved or soon will be. So if some if some of you if somebody isn't then they they might be very soon, okay? Children are involved or soon will be. But there's a liar liar situation pants on fire here. Someone here is being this honest. What's the next 24? What's the next 24, please? Okay, so there's an addiction here. So someone is dealing with some kind of addiction here for some of you guys. Attachment to unhealthy behavior or substances, whatever that is. Someone is out of control here or self-centered. Preoccupied by the interest of self and not giving a shit about nobody else. But me, me, me. All right, it's time that you speak out because some, some of you won't because there's a fear, a fear of loss, a fear of losing everything here. But for some of you, it's already done. Some of you need to be praying or doing something differently. That's spiritual praying. Spiritual praying, spiritual victory here. This is what I'm seeing for some of you guys. Okay, so there's a mask that's been worn, you guys. Somebody's wearing a mask here on the low. This mask is called unstable mask, is what it's called. Tell me more. All right, so I feel like this is you though. Somebody's either having trust issues here. All right, trust issues are affecting the connection. And angels are saying that because of these trust issues, someone is either feeling ashamed here and embarrassed about past behavior. Angels of positivity. Just friends are, just friends, you are better off as friends with this person is what angels are saying at this time. Simply because there's a, a situation that's going on here where someone is just having fun with no commitment. And... Forever and ever. Marriage or long-term commitment is what you should be thinking. If this person is what they really want, this is how you see them or if this is how they see you. However, the roles are turned here. Let's use this deck here. All right, let's clarify some things here. Um, and then I'll use my intuition to give you some advice here. All right, please clarify, please. What's the message here, please? What's the message? 
Please care of Patty's cards, please. Angels. All right, so we have the debt in the reverse. And we have the justice. So justice has, justice has definitely been served here, for real. All right, so there's something very karmic here that's coming in. I feel like there's a situation of something ending here. Um, because this is in the reverse, I'm also feeling like someone either maybe didn't learn their lesson, but still coming in with some kind of an opportunity. Whatever it is, okay? But something has to end in order for something new to start fertility. Something has to come to a critical end here because someone is either still feeling stuck or trapped or whatever they're feeling. Justice is here to clarify that because someone is trying to find clarity with this justice being here. I'm hearing court issues for some of you. I'm seeing papers been filed. Somebody may be stalking somebody here, um, but still thinking that there's an option here. Somebody may be weighing their option thinking that something better is out there or this could be you. But there's a lot of conflicts that's coming through where someone is still indecisive. This person could even be playing mind games, manipulation. All right, so there's a lot of conflicts that's coming through that's trying to clarify itself with the hermit. The hermit been here. I'm hearing that someone wants to be very successful, but still trying to find a path because someone is not seeing the things for what it really is, which is the light. I'm hearing on the tower here. So because of this search, there's a tower moment that might have suffered, past, present, or future, okay? Clarify the five clarify the five of swords. What's the five of swords, please? What's the five of swords? The five of swords is the five of pentacles in the reverse. So there's something is coming to an end here. Um, what is coming to an end is a situation of you being in debt, someone leaving you with financial burden and hardship and everything else that comes with that. Third party situation, drama. And, and, and this, that, and the third. You're healing from that. You're moving forward. You're taking up yourself, your power, your strength. You're moving on to bigger and better things. So you're manifesting your life, the Queen of Pentacles. You're doing big things. You're dreaming big. You're getting opportunities to come in. Whatever had fallen apart, you're getting ready to build bridges once again, okay? You have the, the four of wands in the reverse and the empress also in the reverse here. Right, so you're either feeling like you're, you know, you're not being stable or balanced here. Maybe for some of you might have lost your house, your apartment, your car. Okay, it's what you might have lost here. But you're, you're going to be okay here because temperance is, is really trying to bring things together back for you to put in back power and positive energy here. The universe is speaking. The universe is working on your behalf. The page of swords, the eight of uh, swords. Yeah, you're blocking all of this. Uh, the nine of the nine of cups. All right, this person is just about to lose you because you're stupid okay they're about to lose you because they've caused too much damage there's a lot of damage that has happened here and some is feeling very ashamed because of the damage that they have caused here but you're going to be okay because this is the high priestess <laughs> okay you're going to be okay either way what is the five of cups the king of swords Okay, so with the King of Swords here, um, you know, I do feel a, a, a sense of you may be being with this person for some time for some of you. Um, I do feel like you need to take authority here because this person will take the authority. Um, I'm hearing a, a mind game or something, okay? All right, so you, you're trying to move forward. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a movement that's coming in. You have the Two of Wands here, the Emperor. This and the the eight of pentacles here. Yeah. You 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 set the plan here, you're getting ready for the new, you're finding new love, true love. You're moving forward, you get your job situation stable here, you're manifesting um your truth. Um, I do feel like you know, this person that you've been attached to, they more come off as a very strong, stubborn type of an energy. Um, they want to be successful, but they're yet to make a decision, okay. What's the next 24, please? What's the next 24? All right, so we do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, um, so there's no ambition that's coming in. This person is lacking ambition at this point because they juggle too many things. They're standing there trying to make a decision and not making any. It's just like a feeling of, do I stay with this person or do I keep keep pushing and do what I got to do? 
because I'm not manifesting. It's like there's no movement here because someone is more distracted into things that doesn't serve you or them. Hold on to how they feel, but still stay watching your money. Or whatever you got going on. What is the two of wands here, please? What's the two of wands? Clarify the two of wands, please. What's the two of wands? All right, so there's an apology that is coming through. So someone wants to come in. Knock, knock, who is it? Apology. So someone is coming in with this apology here. They want to try again with you. The knight, the knight of wands. The world. All right, so they want to kind of have things change here. Right? Because there's an opportunity that is coming in. It's coming in really fast. And they know that you are the one. You're the one that set things into stone here. They know that you're very smart. You're very intelligent. You're very sweet. You're very honest. You're very loyal. Okay? Um, you don't come with drama or baggage. And this is what they come with. The Knight of Swords. Drama. They like that stuff. They like to argue. Alright, so there's a movement here. The movement is giving me a fresh start. Um, the Ace of Wands, all right, new beginnings. I do feel someone is about to start over, but there's some kind of a pregnancy that's def definite that's coming through. I did, did I pick that up earlier? Yes, I sure did. Yeah, I sure did. All right, so you might have protect yourself, if anything, because if that's not what you want to do, then you have to keep it pushing, okay? All right, we have the Ten of Cups here. So someone is still yearning, wanting, needing this. So let's tap into that Ten of uh, Cups and see. What's the Ten of Cups, please? What's the Ten of Cups? The Ten of Cups, all right. So the Ten of Cups is having me feel like hey, this is what one wants, but one feel very overloaded here. The Ten of Wands, okay? So there's a lot of investing. You might have invested a lot of time and energy already as is. And the Four of Pentacles did show in the reverse there, right? And so did the Six of Pentacles. So there's nothing coming in here as far as them giving to you, giving into the relationship, investing into the relationship, being happy, being joyous, being glorious, being um, spectacular, being uh, loving and faithful and everything that comes with not being withdrawn or not being distracted or not being in an emotional storm. This is the five of wands. Conflicts here. I'm hearing new love is coming in. You're about to meet somebody. Somebody's about to meet somebody new. What is the two of cups? All right, so you're walking away from that. You have to walk away from what you've developed here before that new love energy could come in. Right now, that is in the reverse, the two of cups. Look at that. Okay? That's in the reverse, you guys, because you have to release the baggages before you can move forward. Some of the seed are feeling beat up, burnt, heart restricted here, um, and still not moving because of some kind of a delay, delay or setback. The setback is the Ace of Pentacles being here in the verse. So there's no communication. There's no future coming in with this person. There's no commitment. There's nothing. That is over. There's jealousy. This person is jealous about your success, jealous about what you got going on. They're jealous about your friendships. For some of you, you got children. They're jealous about that too. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. So I'm hearing careless here in the reverse. They're coming back. They're coming back. The Six of Pentacles. I'm sorry, they, the Six of Cups. They're coming back, right? Some kind of an apology or something that is coming in very fast here. Um, but it's not It's it's not going to work unless this person um, finds some way to, to release what needs to be released, okay? But I feel like for some of you guys, you have to give yourself the opportunity to see what else is out there. Love on you just a little bit and see what else is out there, you guys, okay? Know your worth. Know your worth. Okay. All right. So this is going to be your next 24. Um, we're going to get straight into your bonus, which is going to be right after this one. So go ahead and thumbs up this reads for me, uh, my darlings. Um, and again, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know simply by emailing me. The email address is down below. The phone number to text me if you need to reach me that way is down below. Um, pray for me as I'm also praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first. You know, always fine. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your bonus read. So I already did your mega and I already did your 24 and your no contact and all the other ones. Okay. So this is going to be your last read for the night. 
Um, and then um, for those of you that might miss those reads or these reads, I will attach them all together into a jumbo. Okay, so be prepared for that. Um, now, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning back to the channel, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Continue to shine bright like the diamond that you guys are. Claim it, honey. Claim it. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is get into a prayer. For the ones that are new here, we do pray here on the channel. So let's get into a pray. Tap into your energy and pull in this bonus read. Whatever comes through, comes through, okay? I'm also going to get an angel message for you guys as well in this read. Um, get some messages from the tarot. Use my intuition and give you some messages as well. And also clarify some things and give you some advice at the end. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your guidance for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. So, Aries, um, for your bonus read, just know that this is not a personal reading. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. It could pick up your person's energy, past person, present person, to the person, even the, any situation that you're dealing with. This is your bonus one, so whatever comes through, comes through. Now, cross watchers, please do the same. Same applies to you. Nothing is different. If you do need to have a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys down in the description of this video, okay? Uh, my phone number is there. My email address is there. You could contact me um, to get a personal reading. I have a special that is going on right now. Um, if you have three reads with me for this month, you will receive a 30-minute read for free. And if you refer a friend you will also be receiving a bracelet in the mail for free, a protection bracelet in the mail for free. It looks pretty much like this, or it could be something that is similar. It comes in a pack of four bracelets here. So this is what you will have. And I do have four men, all right, um, as well, okay? So go ahead and make your appointment and go ahead and do your referrals. All right, my darling, let's get you a message here from the angels. Um, angels, what is the message at this time, please? What is it that you need to share at this time? What's the message? What's the energy for the overall bonus here for Aries? All right, thank you, angels. All right, so we have the eater of thoughts here. The eater of thoughts are saying it's time to clean up your life, okay? Get rid of anything that clutters your space or make you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in the situation is wise, insightful, and caring. Has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you, angels, for that. All right, you guys, let's see what angels are saying here for your bonus read. All right, angels, let's get to work, please, for Aries and this bonus read, please. All right. Um, when I did your last read, it was the universe, the angels of universe that came through um, to help me with that read. And I just feel like I want to continue to flow with this angel. Because that angel had a lot to say. So let's um, tap into this angel of universe here and see um, the connected messages that's coming through this bonus. So what is the message here, please? What's the message here? What's the message at this time? So we have the temperance here. So I feel like for some of you guys, it's just not the right time 
um, just something that you're dealing with right now where you're kind of wondering if you should or if you shouldn't. But Angel is saying it's just not the right time. So I'm really feeling like you shouldn't because it's just not the right time to move forward, okay, um, with whatever it is that you're dealing with at this point. I do see the... The six of wands here, you guys, in the reverse. What is this? So someone is a loser here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Because I'm getting a loser energy here with the six of wands in the reverse. This person is a loser. And this is why angels are saying it's just not the right time. What's going on here? All right. What's the message here? Okay. All right. So the high priestess is here and the two and the three of wands. All right, so you're definitely on a, on a cleanse it off your space here. You're cleansing your space. You're cleansing your energy. You're making some plans. You're making yourself better. You're be doing big things. You're moving forward. You, you, you're either planning on getting a house, renting an apartment, moving somewhere, buying a car or something. You're planning on investing something. You're trying to make a decision here um, on what to do, when to go. Angel is saying that calm just a bit is not the right time. The temperance in the reverse, wait. Wait is what they're saying here, okay? Um, because you're connected to someone who is a stone cold loser vibe right here. This person is easily distracted. This person is easily influenced here by others. They have manipulated streaks, okay? Having you feeling burnt out, beat up here, the nine of wands. The strength card is also here. The temperance is here again to remind you the second time, honey. All right? On um, period to that. All there. Okay. All there. What is the three of wands? What is the three of wands? What is the three of wands? Okay, so there's nothing coming in here. With this with this situation, there's there's Angela said it's not the right time. Okay, if you make a move, it's not going to work. You're going to put things on pause here. Just, just freeze, just hold off a little bit before you make another move here. The Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands in the reverse. Some kind of a devastation, heartbreak, news, sad news, bad news, whatever that is. But your situation as far as your stability is in the reverse. The debt is here. The, the debt, the knight of wands, the eight of... So, so someone is making a choice here. Someone's making a choice, moving away or moving to something better. Better in themselves. Walking away from this conflict here. Blocking this person. Someone's either been blocked or been ghosted or about to. Okay, because someone is coming towards them with something that is not pure or real or true or whatever that is. What is the four of wands in the reverse? Look at that. Okay. The nine of wands. So you're either feeling very restrained here, very disappointed, very beat up, very stuck, very trapped, and able to move simply because. There's a situation that you have dealt with here. Um, the nine, the ten of swords. Betrayal, hurt, something that you're releasing. It doesn't serve you. Letting it go. You're moving forward. You're getting your, your hack together. You're getting your life back in order. You're working on your stability, your balance. Some of you deal with anxiety. You're dealing with that. You're going through a lot of pain, a lot of stress, a lot of heartache, a lot of financial situation that has been blocked by negativity here. Someone maybe thinks that there was something that was better than you, but then they found out it's not. That's not the case. Or right, for some of you, might the third party, okay? They thought the third party was the, was the, was the best thing that ever happened. But at the end of the day, the only thing that it caused was a betrayal here. Major betrayal because someone decided to put something to an end. An end is what they did. Put something to an end here. What is the nine of wands? What is the nine of wands? What's the nine of wands? Okay, so the nine of wands is the star in the reverse. So 
So there's a feeling of manifesting your life from start to finish here, knowing that you're the empress and you deserve all the best, not dealing with people who's holding on to a dollar and a dream here, okay? Changes here. Moving forward into what really serves the energy, cleansing oneself. But some of you are having a hard time doing that, though, because that's in the reverse. Clarify that, please. You need a change. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. Brand new start. Fresh start. Walking away from drama and conflicts here. The Knight of Swords. You're letting that go. You're letting this go and tapping into something brand new here. Brand new everything. Brand new love. Brand new state. Brand new country for some of you. Just leaving a lot of things behind. Baggages here. What is the page of wands in the reverse? Conflicts. So I'm going to either trying to find clarity here, but still dealing with this person. Why do I feel like somebody is a side piece here? What is this? Someone is allowing themselves to be taken for a, a third party situation here. You know about this thing, but this person is so um, demonic. They're having you feel like you have to deal with this. Tell me more, please. What is the page of wands in the reverse? The page of wands in the reverse is a knight of cups. So don't expect the unexpected here. Because this person is not changing. I'm not seeing anything that's releasing. What I am seeing here is the three of swords here. That you're healing from this third party situation. Even though there's still conflicts that's coming through. This person is still coming in with an apology that really sucks. Is what I'm seeing here. What is the Three of Swords here in the reverse, please? Clarify the Three of Swords in the reverse, please. All right, so this could be you, this could be them. Someone is still trying to see what the hell's going on here. Wasting time, all right? This time that is wasted, this time is critical. A clock, 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 tick, tock, tock. Time is wasting here, you guys. All right, this trend has been tested times 10. I'm hearing good luck, but someone is having that in the reverse, being distracted by whatever the hell's going on. Angel is coming through, okay, to rectify a situation that someone is unable to rectify it because this person is not ready. This person is not ready at all, okay? I'm hearing spiritual awakening here. In order to move forward and build what you need to build, the Eight of Pentacles, investing into you and blocking this Five of Swords in the reverse, what is the five of swords in the reverse, please? What is the five of swords in the reverse? The five of swords in the reverse is the six of cups in the reverse. So this person is coming towards you with some kind of an apology, but you're done with it. You don't want to accept that. You're moving forward. You're building what you need to build. You're taking back your power. You're taking back your peace. You're releasing this ten of wands because that's in the reverse. You're giving to you. Even though you may be tempted to give this person. There's some of you that know what's going on here. But you're still tempted to be there and give give to this person still. Even with all the pain and the hurt and everything else. Even with you walking with this ten, of, this ten of Wands. This Ten of Swords. This Nine of Swords. Having your situation in the reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. Everything feels old when it should be new. The world. And the Ace of the world, the Ace of Swords and the world, okay? Brand new start, fresh start, seeing what else is out there. The world is yours. Why are you holding on to something that don't serve this person? This is a numb. This is numb as can be. The Six of Wands, that person is numb. And they're a fool for, for having you wait. Something is better is out there, okay? Someone is, I feel like you know somebody, somebody's loving you or whatever that is. But you're not able to see because you have to end this. There's a cycle that you have to end, a trait. Because that trait is not only karmic, but it's toxic. It's, it's very unhealthy. It, it has to deal with drugs, addiction, whatever that is. Any kind of addiction. And that's what I'm seeing that's coming in with this devil here. What is the devil? What is the devil for this bonus read, please? Clarify that, please. The two of wands. 
and the two of swords and the six of swords. So somebody's making the decision moving forward here. Even though you're moving forward with feeling hurt, even though you're moving forward with feeling like you're taking some of the blame, some of the load, whatever, you're making a move. You're trying to clear your space. You're clearing your energy. You're moving forward here. You're having the universe working on your behalf. The communication is still lacking. This person is stubborn. They won't budge. They won't move. It's time that you make your move. The two of wands here. Whatever it is that you're trying to invest in, go for it. But go in using your third eye. The judgment is here. The nine of wands in the reverse and the emperor. There you go. They're not given. They're not given anything here. There you Somebody's about to get their karma deal with their karma deal with their judgment. Someone's going to get that will pass here because they don't test you. Time stand the empress. That's in the reverse. Clarify the empress and why it's in the reverse, please, for the bonus, please. All right, so the empress is the king of pentacles. See that? In the reverse. And see how they feel about this empress? They're not ready. This is why angels are saying that you should wait. 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 Because they're still stuck and they're too stubborn. Wait. And they've lost their way because they've not made a decision. And they have your situation in the reverse. They're not ready to give you what they need because they're too cold. They're very cold at this point. What is the Ten of Cups in the reverse? Is there any hope? Walking with the Ten of Wands. You've thought about that, but at the end of the day, you're still feeling very restricted here. Okay? This person's energy is blocked. Not that you blocked them, but they have blocked their own energy here. They have blocked themselves. It's time that you make a move. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm taking back your peace, taking back your power here, being happy, smiling again, loving on yourself again, giving yourself that self-love, self-care, meeting somebody new. Love, true love, true love's kiss. You'll know because the sun is here. Your sign is coming. It's going to be on a nice summer day, okay? What is the Ten of Cups in the reverse again, please? All right, so the Ten of Cups is the Knight and the Seven of Swords. So whatever conflicts is coming to, that is ended. This person will definitely try to put an end to when new love or true love comes towards you. But you'll know because the angels are working on your behalf here, okay? All right, so this is going to be your read, your bonus one for the night. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, just be sure that you're waiting. Just like the angel said, wait and be patient. Don't rush into anything. Just take care of you. Give yourself all the self-love and all the self-care that you possibly can at this moment. Um, the best love is the one that comes freely and not one that has been forced, okay? Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you always for the love and support. Don't forget to thumbs up your reads for me on your way out. Also, if you do need to have a prayer request, you can always text me or email me and just let me know that you need a prayer request, all right? Um, I'll see you tomorrow, which is Monday. And again, happy, happy Sunday, you guys. Hopefully, you'll see this one tonight, but it is Sunday. Whenever you see this, it is Sunday, all right? I love you guys to the moon and stars. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. Um, and always remember, most of all, to seek first and you'll always find. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.